what's the benefit of this sort of three uh, uh, goal drill that y'all were doing there? Uh, just, I mean, you know, today was just we're coming back into practice after two days off. It was good for everybody to get some days off and some time with their family, you know, and friends and so forth. And, uh, you know, so it was a little bit of an easier day for some guys still. You know, guys have played a lot of minutes over the last stretch, and the other guys wanted to train a little bit. That was a little bit of a fun game. Just a, It's just a reaction game. You know, it's a reaction game offensively, defensively, you know, because you can score on any goal. So you're trying to react, you know, oh, shoot, I'm on defense, no, I'm on offense. And you're constantly going back and forth. It's just a fun little game. Yeah. Any update on Zach? Uh, he said he was going to have a scan the other day. Yeah, scan, you know, nothing broken. Uh, nothing, nothing uh, out of the ordinary except for, you know, a, a bone on bone contusion uh, because, you know, he's got an arthritic ankle. But, uh, you know, so they took him from the crutches to the boot, and today he was walking without a boot. Uh, so it's basically just day by day how he feels, how he's getting better, and he feels a lot better today, uh, you know, after it now. And so, you know, with Zach, you never know. I wouldn't rule out the weekend with Zach. Uh, but, uh, you know, if he can improve each day like he's improved over the last two or three, it'll be good. What did you see on Oppum, is it today, then you're a new defender? Oh, with Oppum, we really want to evaluate where he's at fitness-wise, you know, at this stage and so forth as he's coming in. So for us right now, we'll, we'll take a look at his numbers, you know, we'll probably establish a fitness regimen with him. You know, there were some good things, you know, uh, at the beginning of practice, goals in tight. You can see his, you know, he's got good defensive tendencies, which is one of the things we wanted. He's got good quickness, you know, which is another thing we we're looking for. So it's just a matter of making sure that we get him fit, uh, get him up to speed, so we give him an opportunity that he can do well and not put him into a situation too early. Would reserve be possible in Colorado? Uh, we'd, we'd have to see. You know, it'd probably be limited minutes in the reserve game. Is there a, a player in the league that he kind of reminds you of now that you've seen a little bit of him? And, no, I can't really, you know, I mean, can't really say, you know, maybe a little bit, you know, from a standpoint of a center back of his size, maybe like a De La Garza trying to play center back, you know, as well, you know, an undersized center back who relies a little more on his quickness and his instincts. Um, Obud kind of hinted that it seemed like where he's at fitness-wise that maybe for the rest of this year might be a little bit of a rush. Maybe it's an eye towards the future with him. Would you agree with that? Yeah, we'll see. You know, we'll see. I mean, uh, you know, I definitely think, you know, the next two or three games is probably too early, you know, but uh, I'm not going to put a timetable on it. Uh, you know, everybody uh, goes through that a little bit different. Some guys catch fitness pretty quickly. Uh, he's not a big guy. Usually the big guys have a harder time catching fitness. Uh, so he's not a big guy in that regard, and uh, we'll see how he comes along. And as long as we establish a good, uh, good regimen, hopefully we'll be able to bring him along. How beneficial is it for the players to go back to just a one game a week schedule? Oh, it's really helpful. You know, I mean, it's just, uh, it, it's not just so much the one game a week, it's just being at home, you know, again. And uh, being at home and, like I said, being around their family, sleeping in their own beds, going through their routines, you know, I think that's something when you're, when you're gone in the middle of the season for the length of time we were gone, that's what gets disrupted a little bit more than anything. And uh, so now, you know, I think that's important for our team right now. What was it like to shift Brad to a to a backline position with basically no practices to, to work on that? Uh, we've played Brad a lot of places with no practices, so so it's not unusual. Uh, you know, ever since I first knew him, when I first had him in '85, with, or in uh, in 2005 with the youth team. Uh, you know, he was an attacking central midfielder at his college, and you know, I asked him to play outside midfield. I asked him to play center back. I, you know, and one of the reasons that he he ended up being with us was because of his versatility. And uh, so I, I'm never concerned about that. He's one of probably two players that I've coached over my career that tactically pretty much understand almost every position you put him in and do a pretty pretty good job at that you know it was him and Sasha Victorine was the other one Sasha was really good at that I played him at center forward I played him at center back with the Galaxy I played him outside midfield center midfield and each one he adapted to uh, without a lot of time you know and Brad's sort of been the same way if you had more practices would that have expanded expanded your options there or would it just meant that that line had time training together yeah, training together. I don't think again, like I say, I don't think it was just a back line when when we're taking goals. You know, it's getting caught a little bit on the counter. You know, our reaction right away. You know, there's a bunch of little things that happen. You know, getting not allowing guys to get inside you. You know, so guys got inside you. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that go on. Uh, 
Um, Gonzalo has missed a number of games for you guys lately. Um, where is he at uh, health-wise, and how has that kind of affected the way you guys have had to prepare and, and play? Uh, I mean, it's hurt us because he was getting better. He was getting better, and then the uh, twisted ankle in the New York game when we just were trying to get his yellow card out of the way, you know, and, and that was a bad tackle. That, that hurt us a little bit, uh, you know, so now he's trying to get healthy uh, from that, and, uh, you know, he's making progress. Announce that y'all are uh, going back to the Desert Diamond Cup next season. What, uh, I mean, did y'all have options? Do you like that tournament for any particular reason? Yeah, we, I mean, we had options. Obviously, we had an option to go back to Charleston again. You know, they were interested in having us back. We had an option. We had been to Spain before La Manga. That was another option for us to do that. But, uh, you know, you know, we don't want to do the same thing year in, year out, you know, so because the guys – I think uh, the guys like it if it's a little bit different. It's not the same routine. And uh, so, you know, last year we were at Charleston, so this year going back to Desert Diamond Cup made sense. Uh, also, you know, depending on uh, everything with the off offseason, uh, it also made sense for us not to try and go overseas this year. Alpham said he likes right back. Was that at all relevant to the signing with maybe an eye to next season? Uh, you know, I mean, there's obviously different things we have to look at. Is I mean, next season is next season. That's still far away in my mind. Uh, but obviously, you know, you you have things in the back of your mind, and uh, you know that's a position that we might need to, uh, you know, might need to find a steady player at as well. With where his fitness is at now, do you see him factoring in at all before the end of the year? Like I said, it depends how he comes along. You know, I I can't put a timeline on it, so we'll see. We'll take it week by week, and we'll see. As a group, you guys have won goal of the week a bunch of times. There's just a bunch of spectacular type of goals. Is that a function of the players, or is there is there something else at, at hand there, I guess? No, I think it's a reflection of the players, and and we're a very offensive team. I mean, you look at us, I think we're second in the league in terms of goals scored behind the Galaxy. And, uh, you know, defensively, you know, we, we'd like things to be a little bit better, a little bit tighter, but we're a team that, you know, is an entertaining team. You know, that's a, that's a fun team to watch. I think our fans like that part of us as well. And as a result, when you've got individually talented players and a team that is willing to attack, you know, uh, with numbers, uh, you're going to get good goals.